Tara Jacobson, Marketing Artfully. So this is day three of our Pinterest challenge for e-commerce sellers. And today we're going to be looking at different ways to describe your product. So we're going to start with my product, which I sell digital planners. And I what I did was I went to, so I have a little notepad over here that I'm going to be taking my notes in. Um, so it could, so when you're thinking about your planner, so say I'm thinking about my realtor planner, so I could have real estate planner. I can't use realtor because it is a, um, trademark term, but annual planner. Okay. We have, and all I did was search for planner, nothing fancy. So we have daily, weekly, yearly. Oh, so we have yearly planner, daily, weekly, OneNote digital planner, happy planner, undated planner. And that made me think about um, perpetual planner. Okay, weekly planner. Um, printable, so printable planner, happiness planner, brilliant, free graphic resources, those are ads, free printable planner, daily planner, accessory book, dated, goal-oriented, Productivity planner. Productivity. So I could do real estate productivity planner. And that would be real estate agent planner. I want to get at least like, oops. I want to get at least like five solid different terms for this okay um so i saw goals so we could say goal setting goal setting for real estate agents right now let's think about this i am not going to be doing anything different for my planner listing right so it's not like I'm going, oh, okay, well, I'm going to, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to do all this with my, uh, with my listing, blah, 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 blah. All I'm doing is I am going to have different pins. See here, there's my real estate agent planner. Um, I'm going to have different pins pointing to this, right? So... Goal setting, printable PDF, organizer checklist, agenda calendar. So I've already done some of this research for Etsy. You could do it for Shopify, for Google, for wherever. But what I'm looking at here is I am looking for what Pinterest might like it to be. So that was the 30,000 feet planner. Let's do real estate planner and see if we can find any other things that Pinterest thinks. Uh, marketing plan template. Okay. I don't think it's marketing plan. Um, earning reviews. Now, see, this is where, because we're e-commerce, shop on Pinterest. Let's go there because we want, right? We want commercial viability for our planner, real estate planner, funny quote planner, daily planner, appointment book. So I may want to have appointments in there because I do have an appointment planner page, uh, prospecting. Okay. That's good. Appointment book lead form. I have a lead form. Buyer packet, real estate planner goal setting. We got that already. 
Okay, so that's that's for me. So I have all these keywords now that realtor that that would work for my realtor planner for Pinterest. Okay, so this is what you're going to do today. Don't go away. I'm going to do everybody's like the the digital products, craft supplies, um handmade goods and vintage, okay? So the first thing I did for our handmade sellers is like necklace. So I'm going to make a new one because I'm not going to keep this. Okay. So custom necklace. Right? Uh, you've got choker chain. Choker chain. Layering necklace. Okay, mesh necklace with hammered circles. Multi-strand, right? So we're just looking for keywords that Pinterest thinks is layered necklace, long necklaces, long necklaces. Okay, upcycled. Okay, do, 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 pendant. Okay. They seem to really like layered neck. Birthstone, birthstone, right? And so you're, so if I was doing, if I was a jewelry seller, I would be getting all these different keywords and just start, a little spreadsheet or something with them so you don't have to do this every time for each of your listings when you're making your Pinterest pins um, handmade jewelry handmade jewelry okay maybe I will keep this to help when we're making pins um, silver so whatever metal is it's made out of golden pearl Okay, ba, 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 ba. bead, spaced, charm, multi-charm, charm, multi-charm. Multi okay, so now, oh, it, ooh, look at that. So keep going because there's Etsy jewelry necklaces. So now if you sell on Etsy or even if you sell on another kind of um platform these are keywords that you want to be looking at because they have commercial intent this is what pinterest thinks right here is the very best things that will help them sell on etsy okay so bumblebee necklace pendant necklace silver locket choker um chain pendant Pendants, whoa, lots of pendants. Pendants, multi-charm, body jewelry, body jewelry, interesting. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Sterling, handmade, right? So you're going to just go and look and find all those keywords because we're going to make different Pinterest pins to go to from your product to each of those. Okay. So this is a vintage product. This is a flower frog, right? So flower frogs are these little things with pins. They're also this one. Um, so I know for a fact this isn't any good anymore, but I'm on page one. So this is uh, glass flower frogs for artist paintbrushes. So you want to think of other ways that you can use the product that you're selling. So vintage flower frogs they can be used to put you know like uh to put stems in an arrangement they can also be used for artist paint brushes right they can be used as um let's see if there's any of them here they can, like these little metal ones they can be used uh for holding up postcards or your business cards you know Unique vintage postcards, collecting, um, flower frogs for collectors, unique flower frogs, right? Um, 
hairpin flower frog holder. So you want to find all of these things. Clever repurposing items. Okie dokie. So I would totally go to this DIY inspired pin. And I would say jewelry organization. Vintage earring holder. I would for sure take a picture and put that in my listing, right? Take, don't steal her picture, but take a picture of my frogs with that. And you're going to go down through here. So it's really mad because I'm talking on, see, there's a paintbrush holder. And I actually use those for my paintbrush holders. There's putting papers on them. Um, Oh, look at that. So uh, makeup brush holders, things like that. So what you want to do is you want to think of ways you can use your um, product. Okay, so we have, I've done three. This is the last one. Okay, so now let's think about like, say you sell a craft supply like yarn, right? So you have knitting yarn. I don't know if knitting yarn and crochet yarn are different, but... Um, I'm sorry, but we have knitting yarn, wool yarn, rug yarn, macrame. Okay, this is just in the first three. We found all these things that you can use to, oh, colorful yarn. Okay, weaving. Like, you want to think about what kind of people are going to be using yarn that you sell. And you probably have more of a, a, uh, an idea. Like, can that wool yarn be made into um, wool balls? Uh, macrame coaster making crafts. Scrunchies. Extra large yarn, rainbow yarn, ooh, rainbow yarn. You could, um, oh, 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 what I would totally do is I would have a, um, so you have red yarn, yellow yarn, orange yarn, green yarn, blue yarn, purple yarn. I would make a rainbow yarn uh, uh, collection that you sell because people are looking for rainbow yarn, right? It's another listing. It's another way for you to get found on your e-commerce site, but it's also a way for you to show up here. Uh, yarn inspiration, things to make with yarn. So this, to me, feels like this is much more um, uh, 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 like how to use yarn. So let's go to shop. So then we're going to get the commercial intent on the yarn. Uh, knitting yarn, natural. So if you have natural yarn. Natural yarn. Doo, doo, doo. We got our weavings. We got our macrame. Crochet. Yarn tapestry. That's good. Oh, cotton yarn. So we had wool yarn. We have cotton yarn. Right? And these may overlap. So don't get frustrated. If you're like, I have already done this, I know that this goes with my same uh, keywords that I use. What we're trying to do is we're trying to find out different categories on Pinterest of what they think yarn is. Because so, so let's say we go with um, macrame yarn, right? So let's go to macrame yarn. All right, macrame yarn. So these all seem like macrame wall hangings. So we may have to say yarn for macrame. Okay, yarn for macrame.
Oh, here we go. Uh, premium cotton, right? Macrame rope. Ooh, maybe they don't call it yarn. Maybe you call it rope instead, right? So these are the things that you're going to be able to find out. You could also find out that you need to source something that's called macrame rope instead of macrame yarn. So anyways, long story short, find five different strong keyword phrases that you can use when we start making our Pinterest pins and then save them because we're going to use them when we do our descriptions on our titles. Hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy, uh, Marketing Artfully.